Hello you guys, welcome back to Weasley Universe. And today we're making a video on how to clean the Ferret Cage 2016 edition. Now I know I've done um, videos on how to clean the Ferret Cage, I've done like two or three of them. Uh, but this way, um, to be completely honest with you, is the right way. This will be everything you need to know. So, let's get started. Sorry, it's dark. I had to change the options on our new HD camera. So, yeah, we have a new camera, a $200 camera, so it's probably going to be better quality videos than we usually have. So, these are the three things that you will need to clean a fair cage user. So, basically, we have a litter box in there. So, we use a special kind of ferret litter uh, in their litter box. So, this is just our scooper. With a paper bag on it, or a plastic bag, sorry. And then here we have the KT Clean Cage Habitat Deodorizer. It's basically what you use to clean their cage. And last in my other videos, I use Lysol. Do not use that. I learned that lesson after about a month of using that. Alright, here we have some paper towel to wipe up the bottom of the cage. And we're going to spray some on the platform and clean that up. But first, we're going to get to scooping, so we're going to need this first. Hmm. Sorry about that. The camera's not looking too light, but I don't know. That's what I do. So anyways, we're going to start off with letting the ferrets out and then scooping the litter box. So, I think it's 8.58 a.m. and ferrets are ready to go out and party. So, first, before I get that out, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to grab some paper towel. I like to do this because sometimes there's pee under there and poop and you just, you don't want that to get under. I like to grab about three. Oh, I don't know what to in there. I don't know what's in there yet. Three things of paper towel. And I like to start off putting it on the ground, and the weasels are like, Oh, yeah, what's this? What you got, Mom? Sorry, I zoomed out because I don't know why the camera's looking dark. Especially for the price of it. First, I'm gonna lift. Oh, I have to try to put it up there, please. I'm just going to grab this out. Oh, a little out of Move out of the way, Possum. Alright. And move it right over there. So you guys know where you're going to scoop the other box. Sorry if it looks dark. I don't know why my camera's doing that. But ever, when you scoop, you want to check the poop. But the poop's all covered in the litter, though. It's really hard to see. But I just kind of like to wipe what I can off and kind of like break, apart, break it apart uh, to make sure that there's no blood in it. Okay, so I just finished. I'm still kind of doing it still. Yeah, I'm not sort of. I'm almost finished, really. So I'm going to keep doing this, and I'll, we'll come back in a minute. So you guys, I'm done. I'm done uh, checking through it. I checked through it, and their poop's looking just fine. But you always want to do that. You want to check through the poop to make sure that there's no blood in it or anything unusual in your poop. Um... See, that is one thing about being a ferret owner. Just checking their poop. It might sound nasty, but if you want a ferret, you really just, it's the best option to make sure that they're healthy. I'm sure you guys probably want what's best with your ferret, so. And I have never actually um, 
seen uh, blood in their poop. Never seen blood in their poop ever. Uh, so f yeah, I should say, you know, so far. I'm not trying to be mean, but so far, you know, because you don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Rascal is about four years old. You think he's either four or three years old? We've had him for about three or four. Well, this week year will be fourth year that we've had Rascal. So we know he's getting older. He's at least four or five years old. So we're just really hoping that he lives longer than everybody else thinks they will. Uh, he usually, listen, if you guys want your ferret to live a little bit longer, if you really love, you know, who, oh, everybody wants, you know, if you have a ferret, I'm sure everybody wants their ferret to live longer. Uh, so the best thing, in my opinion, is to, to get your ferret, uh, another ferret, get your ferret friend, to get your ferret a friend, really, because, you know, ferrets are good, they do better in pairs. Every animal, Really like that's like with dogs and cats they do better when they're when they have friends, so it's it is a good idea if you want if you're hoping you know it's I mean it just because you know it, it might not even you know have your fair a little longer, but it is a good way to try. So that's we're just really hoping that Rascal has his buddies and hopefully he lives longer than everybody else is saying. So let's just hope. So I'm done scooping it. I'm gonna go scoop the counter box, and then we'll come over to the pan. In love. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that, you yeah. I like to have another bag. I like to put it on top of the ferret cage where they uh, cannot get to it while I'm cleaning the cage out. It, that's why they poop off it because like there's no room and they don't want to step in it, so Sorry about that looks like the camera got blurry, I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, making me wonder if this camera is going to keep acting up. Sorry if it was blurry, you guys. I'm very sorry. don't know why the camera is doing this. I like to... Okay, now I'm just going to grab some more. I'll just keep checking on the camera so every so often. Make sure it's not doing anything. Oh, no, no, not yet, Bubba. Not yet. I like to spray one spray of this so that it'll basically attract the litter and stuff. Basically, it'll kind of stick to the paper towel. So, there you go. And that's the panel now. But also, one more thing is what I like to do because they make a mess. Take some more paper towel. So, you guys, we buy a different brand of food now. We just recently started buying this about two weeks ago. Sorry about the mess, the bears totally trashed it. Here. This is what it is. It is Marshall. Marshall Brand Ferret Crunch Ferret Diet. That's what it looks like. Uh, it was about $17, but this is better for them than the stuff that we used to buy. But we did mix the stuff that we used to buy in here with it just because we don't want them to get diarrhea by changing food so fast. So we kind of switched in there so that they could kind of like taste this and that and not get diarrhea. Then we're going to wean them off of the other food when we get the next bag for good. So yeah, like I said, we bought this bag about two weeks ago. So we've had it for a while. But it looks like it's almost gone, actually. Well, soon. I like to give them two scoopfuls or two handfuls of their food a day. And then I like to also give them fresh water every day. So now it moves up upstairs. And I'm gonna ask mom what. Well, <laughs> to see they get like, this little rim around there that kind of looks like it's like a brownish color. It's gonna be needed to be cleaned this week. I think every week you should clean out, um, well, wash your ferrets, blankets, stuff like that. So every week we wash this. 
Uh, I think that's my opinion what you should do because, so yeah, it's what you, um, I don't know, we're going to have to watch this like today or like tomorrow or whatever, but yeah, no, yeah, I think t tomorrow it'll be one week, so I remember that we watched it uh, last, last Monday, so. We also give the fairs baby food, which is a great snack for them. Um, we give them vegetable. Uh, it's uh, I you could totally give your fairs baby food if you want. Um, see, with our fairs, so it doesn't cause them diarrhea or anything. Uh, it don't seem like it would since it's a kind of a liquidy substance, but you can give it to them. Well, our fairs they absolutely love it. Except everybody's a little rascal. Rascal doesn't like it. Either. These two love it. So it's fat boy. Or bandit. So you guys now I'm on the throw boxes back in their cage. They got their food, they got their water, they got uh, their baby food. <laughs> they pretty much got what they wanted. So just uh tomorrow we're gonna definitely have to clean their blankets and stuff because in their cube because it is dirty. And like I said, all their stuff, blankets, anything you have in the cage like that. Should be cleaned, including stuff that we have right over there because really you wouldn't want to live in a dirty cage. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll give you guys at the end of every video, I'm gonna start giving tips. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel because, um, just help our channel grow because I just that's what we need, really. We need to people to help our channel grow. So, hopefully you guys will be those people. Hopefully you, you know, just you will be that person. So, please do it.